Hey! So I'm out on my porch uh, reading for my developmental psych course uh, and one of the graphs in it is uh, child intelligence scores in relation to birth order. So I'm the middle of three children and according to the graph my older sibling should be the most intelligent and my younger sibling should be the second most. So I guess that leaves me third. But <laughs> yeah, I don't actually mind though because you know if they're really smart and prosperous, then I can just ride on their coattails and everything will be fine for me, right? Uh, one of the review questions for this chapter was uh, asking about how many children I wanted to have and why, or and when. Um, so in my head I want to have at least two children, like ideally three. Um, actually right now I feel like I'd be most comfortable with the same family structure as my own, and so that would be three children, uh, the oldest a boy, a girl in the middle, and then a youngest boy. Um, but that's probably just because that's what I'm most familiar with and so most comfortable with. Um, concerning the time frame, if I get into grad school next September, then I should graduate uh, the occupational therapy program when I'm 25. It'd be nice to have like two or three years to establish my career and then plans, uh, plan to start having children. Um, which, like, among career-oriented, educated women is a really common uh, emerging trend, trend in, in our society. Um, even though, like, delaying childbirth has, has been demonized um, by some sectors of society, and, and it does touch on feminist issues of not being able to, uh, like, have it all, meaning, like, a career and a family at the same time. Uh, actually, an interesting article I read recently talked about differences in how families start. Uh, basically, it was saying um, that very strict religious families preach abstinence as the only sexual option until marriage. Like in those families, birth control and, abor and abortion um, like are a mood issue, and many of the kids end up having children and getting married at a very young age. Um, and this bears the saying, families bear adults, in that when the family was started, it was started by teenagers, and these teenagers had to grow up because of creating the family. So their mature adult selves um, came partially as a result of starting the family. Uh, the opposing side is talking about how adults bear families, and this is closer to my situation where um, birth control, uh, appropriate uh, sexual freedom and talking about these issues really informed me and led to my choice to focus first on my education and career and then on family uh, family aspirations. Um, right now I can count uh, five. Five of my friends who are either recent parents or currently pregnant. None of them are in school right now. My, my university friends are not pregnant. Um, so for the 304 class, um, the aspect of culture that ties into this is the idea of, uh, of choice, educational opportunities, uh, and social expectations in current Canadian culture. Uh, teenage pregnancy like, always has and probably always will be seen as a horrible moral failing, but uh, now we're at a point where Canadian births are not at replacement levels. Um, Canada relies on immigration to boost the population, or to maintain, sorry, to maintain the population. And I will most likely be working in the geriatric field, as will most of the people my age. And so, yeah, because of the immigration and declining birth rates and choice and education and freedom, my freedom, we're becoming, we are becoming more multicultural, like, and one of the reasons being to keep the Canadian population levels stable. I'm growing up at a time of drastic change for Canada, so I'm very curious to see how, as a country um, and as a society, we're going to adapt to just, I guess, the aging of the population, the influx of immigration or Im immigrants. Um, I wonder, yeah, what's going to change and stay the same? And it's just, it's pretty exciting.